Hello there guys, welcome to my new tutorial on this channel. You're asking yourself, why is this video in English? I want to explain you that because a lot of people have come to my channel and they ask me the question, could you do some tutorials in English? So for the people uh, who are Dutch, it will be a little bit tougher because yeah, it's in English. But first, let's take a look at the wall. Because I am not building it on my own server, I'm building it on the... the how is it called? The... <laughs> the NL game server. And uh, why am I doing it here? So you uh, can visit this plot uh, when you're not... Uh, yeah, you, you cannot find your way into this tutorial, so you can just... Go check this out on the plot. I will put the cor co yeah coordinates in the yeah in the <laughs> video. So uh, we're going to show you that later on. But now we're going to build this wall for you guys, so you can just copy this for your own uh, villages, castles, and other stuff you want to build. I thought this would be a perfect wall I would place in my own kingdom because I, li I yeah I like to. Uh, built a lot in sand style yeah and what you're going to need for this is oak wood sandstone and a lot of buttons because uh, with those we're going to uh, build a wall uh, for what you can do to put between the walls because I wanted to make this a little bit empty to fill with obsidian so your uh, enemies cannot come through this wall there's only one uh, yeah one weak point and that is this part so, because when you break this, you can go through. <laughs> That's it. It's uh, it, it looks a little bit thick, but it is actually, yeah, not that thick. But you can make it thicker just to, uh, yeah, because we're going to make one part. And if you want to make the, <laughs> the same part to the other side, you can leave a gap between it. I did not, because I'd like this wall just for decorations. And not for the defensive material, like uh, when you're going on faction server, you want to uh, make this. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, more hard to uh, break, if you'd like it to have it that way. But uh, let's start, we're talking too much, so we're, what we're going to do, we're going to start from here. What we're going to do is we're going to put a, a gap of 5 between it, and I'm going to count how big this is. is I think it's 4, yes, 4, uh, four looks high like this then we're going to pick up the sand oh wait <laughs> i'm fucking up in the start okay li like this we're going to make this four high uh same counts for the wood then we pick uh the smooth sandstone and we make that four like this and in the middle we're going to put some stairs with sand because it's uh more yeah it gives more uh yeah more holes in the wall and it uh, will give you more decoration. I think it's uh, a lot, yeah, more beautiful. <laughs> um, do I, am I doing this right? I am not sure. Yes, we're doing this right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to place some sandstone with the sandstone uh, stairs in the middle. So you've got something uh, with a round, uh, yeah, <laughs> around. Uh, I don't know the word, sorry. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the sandstone to here and we're putting sandstone stairs to these uh, pieces, the, the pillar likes. And we're going to put wood, like, uh, is it right? La like this. So uh, what you will have, you will have a gap. So you ha can go inside here. But uh, yeah, if you're going to attack this wall, you're going to go to here so you cannot get hit by the arches on the wall but uh, yeah I think that's the weak spot man <laughs> if, but I think it's more about the decoration than the usefulness of this wall so um what we're going to do next is we're going to pick up sandstone we're going to make it as high as the wood pillars I think it's six yes yeah, six six no no it's five sorry guys uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to pick up sandstone like you see here one two three four five And we're going to place five of them like this So five then we're going to pick the sandstone slabs We're going to place on these two pieces and with that we're going to fill the this uh, Yeah, this spot with the uh, If I am doing it 
correct. Oh, fuck. I, I fucked up again. Sorry, guys. Like this. One one more uh, in the height. Yeah, height. So, we can create this piece. And we're going to fill these gaps with sandstone. And what, we're, what we forget is that we want to place sandstone stairs on these uh, parts. Because... It will give you more depth in the wall. Um, okay, right. Then we will fill this up with the spruce planks. And we put some smooth sandstone between. Because that will also uh, give it more uh, yeah, do a variety in the wall. Yes. So, And then we're going to continue with the planks in stairs. Like this. So uh, you can put them upside down. But you can also put them like this I think this is a little bit more yeah I think it's better because then we've got two uh, slabs like this and two slabs like here so it's even um, now uh, we continue that by just filling these this up with these then we put the sandstone on here when we fill this like this and I think we don't even need this piece, so we can put the stairs upside down on there, like this. Now, we've got this height. I think that's very good, because now we reached the fifth... Oh, sh sorry. <laughs> I fucked up again. Five, like this, right? Yes, we got that. Then we continue with the planks, like this. All right. Then we pick up the sandstone. Correct. And we've got ourselves a little wall, and yeah, I think that this is going to start, or we start to get uh, the finishing product, but what we need to do is we need to add some stairs. So when we do this, we're going to put three on the middle part, and what we're going to do now is we fill this up with sandstone, like this. And then we end up with some upside down slabs. Now. We've got a right, uh, we got a right start, but what we need to do next is we need to put another sandstone stair like this, because we're going to make the top of the wall, and it's uh, what we're going to do. Then we're going to put some stairs, and on top of that, some smooth, and we ended up with smooth sandstone slabs. This is the top of your wall, the highest point of your wall. I think the wall is 6, 6 7, it's about 14 blocks uh, tall, so we're, we got something here. Then we're going to add these parts, uh, just two sandstone, yeah, just regular sandstone. And what we're going to do be beneath that is we're going to put some upside down stairs, as you can see, right? Oh. Fuck, like this, and this. Uh, then we're going to put these, just uh, place them like this. Then we're going to put the, if I'm correct, yes, these beneath it, and there beneath these. Yes, no, 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 not. Oh, fuck, man, I'm fucking up again. Sorry, just skip this part. We're going to do this. We're going to put in these, the stairs, like this, two. And what we're going to do be be besides that, we're going to add some sandstone. <laughs> uh, is that correct? Oh, no, 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 not correct, because we're going to put these here, and we're going to add some slabs here. Now, what we're going to do next is this. So, we filled it up with sandstone, we're going to put some stairs like this. Then we're going to the other side, when we will add some uh, spruce wood planks. Yes, that's correct. And in the end we're going to add the sandstone stairs, like this. We're going to remove these, and we're going to put some stairs right here. So we've got ourselves the wall, but now we need the spots to walk on it, because otherwise you will not uh, control this wall. You want to control it. Uh, otherwise you will fall off and <laughs> then you're in inside the wall and how do you want to get out? You cannot get out. That That's the problem. <laughs> so we're going to put uh, a space where you can walk and we're going to add some water buckets. You're not, uh, you don't not have to do this. 
but I would recommend it because when you get fired by some fire arrows, you can just stand in the water up like this and then you can go back to the wall so you can defend it. And that's very, uh, yeah, very recommended in a fight because otherwise you will uh, catch fire <laughs> like the movie. Yeah, um, okay, now we've got this piece and we're going to end it up with just some sandstone if I'm doing it correctly. Yes, um, but I think, oh no, we did not forget anything. It's just like this, so, and here, like this, and then we fill it up with the sandstone. Oh, I just got down, and with this, we ended up. So this is one part of your wall, and you can just extend it with uh, uh, more pieces. You can add some depth on these pillars, you can just put these on stairs, you can do slabs, but what I would recommend that you will just add a sandstone uh, behind it, I think that's the best, or otherwise you can just put some random sand against the wall, oh this is not sand, we need some sand, this, this is sand, yes, just to fill it up and give it more uh, a natural look, because when you're in the desert nothing of nothing is just how do I say that? Some some sand is just flowing against this wall because then, yeah, the wind the wind is pretty tough, <laughs> just like that. Okay, uh, when we just finish this, we need to put these. I just forget that. This is just a extender because when you put these between the walls, you can just continue to put these pieces just right uh, beyond each other because then you can extend your wall to a length of 1000 blocks, maybe 2000, 5000, whatever you like. Um, I will make a corner in the next video, I don't know when I'm going to do that, it can take uh, probably a month, maybe two weeks, maybe one week. It's just uh, I don't have that much time left in the, this holiday, <laughs> because I'm, uh, I have a holiday of six weeks, but I have to work. Um, yeah, just try to complete these, this part and extend it on your own. Just try that. If you want to just you want to um, add some details, just add some random buttons, it will just give you uh, a more more depth in this wall and more randomness. Because when you make it more random, it will not look that plain, right? I think it's too plain if you do not if you do not add uh, of if you do not add these buttons, right? I think it's the best. And when you're just fighting, just ease it with the gap between it, because when you put the gap between it, you can fill it with obsidian. Uh, let's see, obsidian, lava, sand that falls down. I think obsidian is the best, like this. And then when you add some lava, because if I can place it, yeah, I can place it just like this. Uh, I will put a sand... Sand... Uh, I will just put some sand here just to let you see how you will do it. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> not that my wall is going to catch fire because that will not uh, help it at all. But in factions, I think um, fire spread is toggled off. So you can just uh, participate it with uh, the lava. Now, when you do that, you can just put an entire wall of obsidian and lava till, yeah, till the end of the wall. And the corner... I will explain in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you want to uh, look to the uh, <laughs> to the corner video. Because I hope a lot of people are going to watch this. Because I like to make these tutorials for you. So you can uh, build something nice on your single player world. Maybe on the faction server. Or maybe a kingdom server. I, I would like that. Um, thanks for watching this. I hope my Dutch fans... Uh, understand it so not uh, I'm sorry guys <laughs> because uh, I, I used to make these in Dutch but now I want to do this in English for you guys for all of you so thank you uh, for everything drop that like subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and leave in the comments what you think about this wall do you think it's nice do you think it's ugly please give me some arguments in the description below and I will see you next time bye bye